On tonight's breaking bond, a 29-year-old man was free from jail on three felony bonds when police say he stabbed his 23-year-old brother to death. And now he's on the run. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live with the latest in his ongoing series. Yeah, Rossi, Corey Ketlet's bond was revoked twice for failing to appear in court, but was reinstated both times. If he would have stayed behind bars, his younger brother would be alive. In October of 2020, 29-year-old Corey Kellett was sentenced to six months in Burnett County for theft. He got out early and in December of that year was charged with drug possession, evading arrest, and felon in possession of a weapon here in Harris County. His bond set at 40000 Then Kellett seemed to disappear. The bonding company basically <clears throat> threw themselves at the mercy of the court, basically saying, look, he just won't check in. We haven't seen him. Kellett's bond was revoked, but then one day later it was reinstated and he walked out of jail. Two times in less than a year he forfeited the same bond. And now you've got someone who paid the ultimate price for allowing him to remain in the community. He lost his life. Now Corey Kellett is charged with murder, accused of killing his own brother, 23-year-old Payne Stewart. It happened last Thursday at this home on the southeast side. Police say Kellett was angry that his brother had kicked him out of the house and he pulled a knife on him. And you slashed his brother's throat and his brother <clears throat> by one of the witnesses who was also threatened with the very same knife sees blood just spurting out. Corey Kellett is now a wanted fugitive and should be considered armed and dangerous. Something's going to happen. The only question now, is he going to go get taken into custody lightly? Is he going to go out with a fight? Is someone else going to pay the price for us? But the bottom line is none of this should have ever happened. If you know the whereabouts of Corey Kellett, call Crime Stoppers 713-222-TIPS. Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.